All right, so what is going on everyone? Swan here and today uh, We're actually doing all right, this video is a little bit weird. I did one of these actually like a week ago Basically, this is my 12th. Uh, this is for my 12th win in battle royale uh, I was in the zone a few days ago, and I just kept playing and playing and playing without recording like anything So I, I mean I recorded the gameplay, but I wasn't recording anything live so uh, we're gonna be going over this 12th game I had here. Uh, I may or may not have won, and it may or may not have been for a very good player, an extremely good player. Like, I didn't expect to get this person. I was like, alright, I'm probably just gonna lose anyways, it doesn't even matter. And, well, anyways, let's just get right into this. I'm gonna, hold on, 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, I just had to time that just so I could click to play on the recording that I actually do have. But, anyways, hold on, I'm really bright right now. Okay, that's better. Uh, anyways, this is my team. Uh, I kind of went fast through this. Jake Lamb, Robin, uh, Yount, Ken Griffey Jr., the 92 overall one, JD Martinez, D. Gordon, Steve Pierce, Brian McCann, Gerardo Parra, and a random pitcher. And. Uh, as you can tell, we got a AJ Griffin, and we were playing a guy who was using a silver Eddie Matthews, Tulowitzki, Brandon Belt, Jorge Posada, Chris Taylor, uh, Chris Calhoun, or Cole Calhoun, sorry, Roger Davis, and Nomar Mazzara. And, you know, as you can tell, most of my team is playing up, which is pretty good with that inside edge, except for Jake Lamb. But, you know, let, let just just watch what happens. This is pretty crazy. All right, the Okanagan Timbers. I'm gonna try and do this one take. This is my first take at uh, recording this. Um, I'm just gonna show the entire gameplay because it is a very short gameplay. It is literally just like barely, it's probably like 11 minutes of gameplay, maybe even 10. Yeah, definitely like 10 minutes of gameplay. Even closer to nine, I don't even know. But any, as you can tell, we're warming up. Uh, Louis of V, I don't know how to say that, and then I think Kelvin Herrera, I missed it, I honestly forgot who exactly was on this team. Now I was a little worried right there, I threw a perfect changeup that was just low, and he didn't even chase, and I was like, what is this, is this guy gonna be like super patient and a really good hitter? And he ripped that, uh, what was it, a fastball, maybe? I don't even know what I put there, maybe I put a change up there actually. And he ripped it to the third baseman and I caught it. And I threw a nice cutter inside on too low right here. This is like honestly watching a new game to me because I forgot. Like I only remember one exact thing that happened that was pretty big in this game. But anyways, as you can tell, 96 or 7 too low. I forgot who that was. And then we got Yount at shortstop. Of course he's going to make that play. He's honestly so good. Like I actually... During this run, I realized how good of a card this really is. He's honestly like crazy. But anyways, uh, we're gonna put in a VLAN or whatever, however you say it. I don't know. I Some people just have crazy names. But anyways, this pitcher did so much for me in this run. He's a lefty pitcher. He's normally a bronze, I think. And he was playing up to like an 82. And his, he had some nasty stuff. He had a sinker as his R1 pitch, and it wasn't, like, R1 pitches usually aren't that great. But it was just filthy. But anyways, Jake Lamb, here we go. First pitch of the game. Absolute bomb. Absolutely crushed. That was just, he left that changeup just floating in there, and I put my uh, PSI down there and just destroyed it. Honestly, I didn't make that great of contact, but... I don't know, it worked out. So anyways, he goes to the bullpen because Yount, he's just scared now. And he puts in Michael Givens. I, Michael Givens, Michael Givens, I don't know how you say it, of course. But anyways, this is actually one of my favorite pitchers to use. And he, ca he uh, caused me to just fly out to the right fielder in shallow right field. Uh, but <clears throat> I was not too worried at this point because I first pitch home run, I was so happy. And then... Uh, for some reason I laid off that laid off that with Griffey. I don't know how I did But anyways, he tosses a fastball in there. I make some nice contact some nice contact on that um, Rip one right up the middle I hate how the the Griffey's all have the top spin like literally every time you make solid contact unless it's the other way it will just Dip it'll just look like it's gonna go flying and then it just curves a ton it it's ridiculous the Physics doesn't work like that. I, I don't know. It doesn't move as much as it does in the game. Hopefully they fix that a little bit in um, the show 18. Which that issue like makes me think like really we are already like halfway through this game at least. And 
I don't know. I can't wait for the next one, too. I, I don't know. I've been having so much fun with these games. They've done such a good job. But anyways, J.D. Martinez, one out, runner on first. Here we go. We got one ball. And he throws a good slider and just gets me by a mile. I don't know why I was stealing with Griffey. I, I really don't know why. I was like, let's just do a hit and run. And it really didn't work out. He throws a fastball. And it get pretty good contact on it. But it is... Uh, gathered in by the right fielder, Minneapolis Swan, Okanagan Timbers. Here we go. We got. We get. We're up one nothing in the first through the first, and now it's the top of the second. Throw a nice two seam in there. He just has some good tailing action. This pitcher, I'm telling you, if you have a chance to pick him up in Battle Royale, he's just like a bronze. He's just. He's a solid player though. He. I don't know. He's got a nasty curveball too. I don't know if it's a regular. Is it a regular curveball? Yeah. Um, I was a little worried about this Posada card, he, especially that pitch right there. Um, I left that right down the middle, but he only hit it down the right field line, down the uh, first baseline just for a single, which isn't bad because Posada's really slow. He's not going to get to second off that. And right here, I don't even know what I'm throwing right there. That was a changeup. That thing was slow. I mean, it was, only, it was still 80 miles per hour, but it looks like it dropped so much. But anyways, he's got Chris Taylor up. Posada on first, he's only got 11 and 5 speed, so I mean, I wasn't worried about anything. Then we got our first baseman catching that ball. I don't know who my first baseman was. I really don't remember anything. Um, but anyways, now we got, I think, Cole Calhoun. I think that's who it was. First pitch, high and inside. Not the best. I think I was throwing a sinker right here. I think I threw a bunch. Oh, no, it was a two seam. I think I ended up throwing a bunch of sinkers to this guy. I want to say that this is a sinker. No, it was a changeup. I threw a bunch of sinker to, sinkers to someone, but anyways, here we go. What was that? A two seam, probably. And then he, we get him to ground out to second. Only, well, gr ground out to first, but only got the one out at second. So it was a fielder's choice. Got a little speedier of a guy on the base path now. But anyways, here we go. We got Rajay Davis, one of the highest speed in the game. Players with the highest speed. Um, this guy was being a little bit patient. I was a little annoyed. I hate when people are way too patient, like when you're putting them like literally just right on the corners of the plate and stuff and they're not swinging, like stuff like that, like how do you lay off that? I don't know. I can't, I personally can't lay off that. Um, anyways, we got D Gordon up. This was surprising. I never draft D Gordon in a, in a battle royale, but D is kind of a monster. I mean, he's so fast. I mean, I love D Gordon. I love watching him in, in uh, like in his actual games like he's one of the most exciting players in baseball I think um, but I don't know I just never draft I usually just go for more of the power side like uh, Steve Pierce has got some decent power right here um, but he grounds out to the shortstop but yeah I don't know D Gordon what a monster absolutely beast now we got Brian McCann up and what was I doing oh yeah I was warming up Jason Grilly and still had uh, Herrera in the bullpen. I've still only used my lefty, so I, I still have, like, Herrera, who plays up to, like, 88. I don't know if he was at this point. And Grilly, who's a throwback or flashback, um, uh, that's, like, 87. And I really didn't use him that much. I just like to use Kelvin. But anyways, I don't know why I was swinging at that. McCann, that was just bad. I mean, that was actually a good pitch, but, like, I, I don't know why I was so late on it, and the PSI or PCI was nowhere near it. But anyways, two and one count, two outs, and McCann flies it out to left field, low and inside pitch, and barely puts it out. I could not believe that he actually hit that out when I was playing this game. Um, McCann literally did not. He did nothing for me. Like, this whole run, really. I mean, he had a few. Actually, I think he did have a few home runs. Like, a couple home runs just scattered out here and there. But he, I don't know. He's a good fielder. He's not fast, though. He's not. He doesn't have the greatest hitting stats. You know, there's a lot of stuff to, uh, left to be desired about having him on your squad. But I just picked him up. I don't really care too much about who my catcher is. I'd honestly rather have a better fielding catcher in BR, especially, than a hitting catcher because there's already so many other hitters that you're going to have. There's no, there's really no point. Like, I like having Russell Martin, who's just a fantastic fielder and not a great hitter. And that's just, I don't know, that's just how I play. But anyways, my pitcher, I don't know why I still use my pitcher right there. 
I guess I wanted to keep the lefty in. And uh, I f flew out to left field with the runner on, so that wasn't that big of a deal. I kept him in, I guess, because Mazzara was up, and then it's their pitcher, I think, and then Eddie Matthews. So it was like three lefties straight, basically. But he switched, and then I did not toss in anyone? No, I didn't. All right, so I throw a change up. Why am I not using a sinker? I could have sworn I was using using a sinker that game. That was a great curveball. Fantastic. Put it right on the corner. I think he was a little bit early on it. And then I almost get him with a change up. See, I don't even know what really happened in this game. But of course, it's 2-0. 3 and there's a sinker. Uh 2-0 top of the 3rd and so yeah, all I have to do is pitch out of this inning and get the win. So this is what I'm going to try and do. And I throw a terrible changeup. Absolutely garbage. And he, for some reason, chases it. They're like a half swing, kind of. And I get him to strike out, so I was pretty happy about that. And here we go. We got another two seam in there. Um, toss a little curveball. Terrible curveball in there. I'm surprised he didn't swing at that. That was more desiring than the, the freaking changeup that I threw him. But anyways, there's a four seam high and outside. I, I really barely use the four seam with this guy. And I throw a sinker a little too inside. Why is my nose stuffed right now? I don't know why it is. It's a little cold out, but still. Um, almost got him to fly out, it looked like, right there. Threw a changeup. And it looks like I'm going to throw another changeup. Get him to strike out. Alright, so two strikeouts in this inning. And now we got Eddie Matthews up. I don't... Did I strike out the side to end the game? No, I didn't. Eddie popped out. Whatever. Eddie Eddie Matthews pops out for the winning out, I guess. I, it doesn't really make any sense. But, as you can tell, I only had four hits, but I, two of them were home runs. And I ended up winning. And let's see who our 12-game reward is. I already knew who it was, so I was already pretty hyped. But, anyways, I, see, I, I was debating on keeping him. Uh, this person, but uh, I ended up, I'm putting him on the market. I should actually check right now if he did sell, because I'm going to, I'll tell you what my plan is after I show you who it is and what I'm doing with him. Okay, so my reward is, come on, load. Why isn't it loading? Where is it? 12 wins? All right, so I got Wade Davis. Wow, I backed out way too fast. It was Chris Sale. I might have to freeze frame right there. Uh, I backed out really quick. I might not show that. But yeah, it was Chris Sale. And he's like 140K. Uh, I think a little bit above that. And uh, so lefty starting pitcher. He's got, I think, a four seam, two seam slider and change up. Fantastic stats. 97 overall. 97 overall live series pitcher. So I'm going to sell him. And he is only about 30K less than Clayton Kershaw. Clayton has, what, I think a change-up, slider, uh, curveball, I think it's a 12-6, and then a fastball. So, yeah, if all goes well, I mean, I already had 140K, so I'll get another 140K, 130K, something like that, spend 180 of it, maybe, and I'll be down to, like, I don't know, still, like, 100K. So, I don't know, I think, I think that's the plan for today. I'm going to try and sell him, see if it worked out. And anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I got 12 wins again, and I'm so excited about that. Uh, I love the new update to Battle Royale. It's, it's fantastic. But anyways, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe here if you are new. And as always, I hope you're all having a nice day. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everyone.